Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Now, in the last episode I decided that uh, the, the correct course to remedy all the problems that were occurring with my city would be to somewhat resolve the issues in the old town uh, before developing a new, uh, changing the series up to become loosely titled How Do You Fix a Completely Wrecked City? Um, so, I mean, the, the city's bad, you know, I think that's, that's, that's fairly safe to say, uh, and, uh, and somehow is struggling to cope with the, uh, the number of people living here. Um, and largely this is coming about due to unchecked growth. Unchecked growth. Oh, yeah. So, I, you know, the way I've tended to work is I'll pick out an area like this one and then just kind of go zone, 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 couple of services, bosh, 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 jobs are good and bang in a sexy looking roundabout, everybody's happy. Uh, except it doesn't work like that at all. Uh, instead, what you end up with is a complete frenzy of, of traffic, which slows your services down, which makes everything rotten and, uh, you know, people move out. Um, so we're going to try and fix that by... Uh, by hopefully in the future developing something glorious. Am I going to do that this episode? Probably not. I'm going to still focus on some, uh, some, you know, problem solving for now. The, the amount of traffic coming from this new industrial area is, you know, gargantuan. Uh, it's just enormous. Sticking freight terminals uh, so close together is basically like dropping a bomb on your tra transport system. Um, and. Uh, you know, and the, the effects are uh, exciting. I think is uh, is fairly safe to say. So I've I've you know I've tinkered while you've been away uh, in trying to improve things a little. I noticed that uh, we had queues that were building up here that weren't helping this section over there. So I built this absolutely hideous looking slip road off the side here for people that wanted to get onto this bit of uh, this. No, no, it was originally this this bit of uh, of highway right here. And, uh, you know, and it worked for a while, but now it looks like this. It, it, well, it did look like it was queuing all the way along there. Uh, and so then a secondary tweak turns out that just about everybody who's coming along this road here, so a lot of the traffic that was clogging up the roundabout a little, uh, they all want to go over here. I don't know why. I don't know what's so glorious about this part of town, but there you go. That's where they wanted to go. So, uh, you know, I did my best, and I, I moved things along a little bit, and, um, yeah, it didn't really help. Uh, we, we, you know, we filled in the first... This road was completely jammed, so I built this, you know, secondary route, uh, and now that's completely jammed. And it, it goes back to something I was saying in a previous episode about uh, build roads to where people want to go. Uh, an incredibly obvious thing to say, um, but uh, but in terms of its actual usefulness, it's you, it, you know you couldn't you couldn't nail it any more closely. Um, if you identify a massive queue of traffic, figure out where those people are trying to get to and help them on their way. Uh, I, of course, I'm doing no such thing. So, uh, and we're now starting to get knock-on effects. I ought to bulldoze this entire area. And and put a high traffic management system in it. Or I could just leave it the hell alone. Let's do that. Um, so, yeah, so I'm still working to make sure that all our uh, our services are, are adequately provisioned. You know, water is good, electricity is good, garbage... We're so close on being able to handle enough garbage, assuming that uh, uh, we actually managed to get our, our garbage trucks out to, uh, out to the, the areas that needed them. Um, but, you know, there you go. Right, empty that. Let's go. And this one. No, no, I know I can't empty it. I want to empty it. Thank you. So I'm gradually going to, you know, redefine the way that garbage is handled, uh, given that it's it's kind of, you know, one of the, the bigger problems that we've got. Let's, uh, can we take a little road off here? It's going to be a road to nowhere, but this is this is the new theory that we're playing on, right? Is services that are that are kind of mandatory to the city, so garbage disposal, not least of all, uh, give them a little dedicated road. That way, you can be certain that at least some of the time they're not going to be completely clogged up. Uh, the good news about using incinerators, uh, as much as they are a polluting factor is uh, they also provide power. 
So every time you you have a what the hell is going on here? This is a terrible piece of design. Absolutely terrible. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? It's it's so bad that I'm uh, you know I'm going to build a relief road here. Oh, and I can't because of flaming train tracks in the way. Oh, what a genius designed that. Yeah, I know you're looking at him. Um, okay, right. Well, what's the solution to this then? Why is everybody heading up here? What's what's so amazing about this area? This is this is where my dumps are. Let's move to a different area. There, yeah, there you go. Let's ignore it and move on. How can I help these chaps out? How can I make this flow better? Yeah, so right now, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to, uh, you know, just bolster my coffers a little. We've got a fairly healthy bank balance. Population's growing again. You know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with all of that. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're doing nothing to, to solve the major problems that we've got going on. Although, garbage is maybe, maybe less of a factor. Ever so slightly less, but less is less uh, than it was. Uh, if I can get a road in here, do we think we can fit a garbage dump in there? I think we might be able to. Beautiful. Yeah, I know you're unhappy about it, but what would you rather? You know, dying in your own filth... Or, uh, or having a, a, an incinerator polluting outside your front window. Don't answer that. Um, okay, how are we doing? We've got to be getting close now. Right, we're almost, almost hitting uh, all of the garbage that the, the city is producing. And actually, the city's not really that big. I mean, if you look at the amount of land that we have to play with overall... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about Atlantis. I think the uh, the solution might be to, to delete the dam at some point. And that will cause other problems, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, who knows? What's your problem? Your land value's not... Yeah, OK. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Look, I've given you, a, I've given you somewhere to dispose of your garbage. How about you have a nice big park opposite it? That'll cheer you up, won't it? Won't it? Quit complaining. Honestly, some people. Actually, there's no one living in there at the moment. Uh, okay, well, you know, they'll uh, they'll get over that, I'm sure. Actually, what's the healthcare like in this bit? Well, there's a clinic just there. There is no excuse for you people being sick. How is this clinic handling? 13 patients out of 100. Get your asses out of bed. Get into the hospital. Get yourselves patched up, you lazy good-for-nothings. Serves you right if you die. I'm a, a caring kind of a mayor when it comes to uh, people unable to or unwilling to kind of, you know, take matters into their own hands and sort themselves out. Yeah, you see, this is this is kind of indicative of the, the problems I've created. Now, every slip road you make is going to generate a bit of traffic, okay? So it's going to, you know, it's going to suck some traffic in to try and get on in that area. Uh, but then if you leave those junctions too far apart, you end up having a big queue of people trying to get on at a junction. So what's the choice? You, you either have, you know, junctions every 30 feet or so and, uh, and hope for the best, or you... Uh, Actually, where's that? There is it. If we had a junction up here, that would help. I can I can make people homeless. You know, that's the, that's the kind of thing that I'm, I'm comfortable with. There you go. Get yourself up there. Oh, don't pull faces. And you never know. That might see because this should, in theory, if I uh, have I got a, a tool I can paint with without disrupting everything. Yeah. Okay. So. In theory, that junction there should suck some of the traffic out of this bit, right? Should do something about that, which means that it won't have to come on here. Which might reduce some of the impact on this section down here. Now, it won't reduce the overall number of cars, because obviously they're still trying to get to places, but... Uh, I don't know. There we go. See, we've got, a, we've got a couple going on. And maybe it will help, maybe it won't. But this is the kind of thing you need to think about when you're laying it out in the first place. Doing it retro, uh, retrospectively is uh, is always going to be lousy by comparison. 
you're not going to be successful doing it that way. So, you know, we've got stuff moving, but it's moving so slowly. You know, if I were to kill the traffic lights here, let's have a look. Oh no, oh, did I just put traffic lights in? I did just... No, I didn't put traffic lights in. Or did I? No, no, there we go. Let's take them out. Kill traffic lights. Put some priority signs on this sucker. I already have. Oh, okay. Well, why weren't you flowing then? Flow, damn it. Flow. Hmm. Then there was silence, as you just sit there and watch things not really work. Okay, I know, we're burning population. What's going on there? Do we think the plague is upon us again? Could be. We're about that time. There's a lot of, a lot of skulls floating around. All right, let's uh, let's crank the healthcare budget temporarily. I don't get me, actually, that's 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 a hell of a crank I've just put on that one. Yeah. Incinerator. There we go. Get to work. Where there's a dustbin, there's an incinerator. New policy. I mean, the other thing, I, you know, I could I could use city ordinances to sort things out, you know, by, uh, you know, sticking recycling on and that kind of thing. Uh, well, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Let's have a look at, uh, at where they live. Right, what have we got? We've got a smoke ban with, with... Recycling's already turned on here. Okay, free public transport. Fat lot of good, that is. Um, given that I don't really use much public transport. What else can I stick in here? Apparently, no, there's, you know... Do something healthy. You know, that would be... What's this going to do? Slightly increased health, slightly... Well, I don't care if they're happy. There we go, it's ban smoking. In fact, given that this section right here, in fact, can I, if I pull up the, right, that's the whole of this bit that is currently flashing skulls. If I can improve their health ever so slightly, then, uh, you know, maybe we'll get some, get some joy, get some joy going on and, uh, and less, uh, less dead, less dead people clogging the place up and potentially moving on. Some more housing. So let's do the same thing here. Recreational use of drugs. Uh, uh, no. Let's not do that. Let's put a smoking ban in instead. Yeah, we've gone from being very liberal into being uh, ultra-conservative in one fell move. Yes. Hmm. Okay, right. Well, we'll see if that does anything at all. Uh... And again, it's it's about people being able to access your services. If you, I mean, you can have hospitals every three feet, and uh, uh, you'll still run into trouble if uh, if people aren't able to get to them. I'm going to put some commercial in here. I know, bold. This was supposed to be an industrial area, but given that this is where goods are actually delivered in the first place, maybe it will help. Maybe it will help. And uh, let's put another incinerator on here. I'm, you know, I'm determined to get to the point that we can actually uh, torch every item of, uh, uh, of of rubbish coming into the city. That's that'll be that'll be glorious, right? Let's, let's drop the healthcare budget back down again. I want the money. Can all die. I just want the money. This cemetery is now empty. 
The sentry is now almost. Maybe I'll replace it with an incinerator. Hokey dokey. Right, look, here we go. So look, this is, you know, this is the kind of rubbish that I've built in the past. Is we've got this is working very nicely in terms of it's on an isolated bit of road. Uh, that's great and all, but uh, it would effectively be redundant afterwards. And if you get to the point where you're em emptying cemeteries or you're emptying um, uh, uh, landfill sites, uh, you've already screwed up by that point. We are now losing people quite quickly. Why are you all leaving? You can't all have been smokers. Maybe this is maybe this is some legacy death smoking going on. All right. It has been suggested in the past that if I were to lower the taxes, we'd get people coming in like no tomorrow. All right. For you, my friends, I'm going to lower the tax rate of 7%, which is ludicrously low. It's going to kill my budget for a little while. But let's see if that can reverse the trend. All right. We're, we're going 670, down a week. Right, and as such, my you know my budget is now seventeen grand a week, nineteen grand a week in deficit, twenty-two grand a week in deficit. No, I think I think we're in plague. I'm losing thirty-three, thirty-four k a week. All you low taxation people, you can't have good services unless you're prepared to pay for them. In fact, I'm going to charge industry. Industry? Oh, nice pro pronunciation there. Uh, I'm going to charge them even more. I am not prepared to lose that amount of money. We have to cling on to the cash that we've got. There we go. There we go. Back in profit again. I don't care if people move out. I'm making money. We've got a fire department over here. Anywhere. No. It's probably why it's on fire. Yeah, bang that in. Go put that fire out. There's a there's a good team. Okay, so this is I, apologies for this being another patchy episode, but until I've got this at least partially resolved, I don't feel confident about turning my attentions to a different part of the uh, of the city. And I've got a humdinger of a plan that I've already tried out. Uh, I, trust me, you'll you'll be wanting to replicate it yourselves. Uh, almost immediately. Honestly, you bloody smokers and you're moving out of Christ, look at this. It really is an epidemic. There's a dead person waiting for transport. Why? Why is there a dead person waiting for transport? I don't understand how this keeps happening. I'd suggest throwing it. Look, the roads are clear. There is no reason why public service vehicles can't get to you. The only explanation can be that they're all snarled up in traffic somewhere else. But look at this, all this traffic's moving. Alright, okay, you've got this section here which is rubbish. But again, where I mean, you know, where's the inevitable ambulance queue? What's that? One, two, I see three, I there's another one up there in the distance. Uh Hey, see, these guys have got sense. They're going the right way up the road. And where are you actually trying to get to? What's so important that's up here? This was this was always supposed to be just a you know a garbage centre, which I think we've now demonstrated. Centralising your services in this way is a really terrible idea. Um, and then maybe that's it. Maybe maybe we can't. Uh, let's let's bang a quick. First space to allow it, I'm going to bulldoze. There we go. Right. Bring out your dead. Come and stick them in here. Right, we've got nice, nice clear traffic moving going on over here. So, you know, start hoovering up the dead and put them in there. 
Eight hearses, nine hearses in use. Okay, fine. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, now, hopefully this is not a, a, a lengthy, ongoing plague that we have. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue playing until this has resolved itself. Uh, after which, next episode, guaranteed, promise, hand on heart, we will be uh, building a new area. And uh, it will be glorious, and it will be glamorous, and you will be overcome with uh, just how much you want to build the same thing yourself. So thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Um, yeah, patchy episode. Such is the nature of the city. The city's patchy. That's the problem. Uh, I want to get it working. I want to get things moving in a glamorous direction. And that's what is going to happen over here. Things are going to look up. We're going to, you know, they're going to be a nice little isolated community. And everyone's going to be happy or else. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. This, 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 this.